Dennis Rader hardly fits the image of the vicious serial killer. He was working in Park City as basically a dog catcher, a code enforcement officer. He was just the guy next door, lived a normal life in a normal neighborhood, had children, had a wife. And that was the most difficult part of all for everybody to accept, that he was a normal guy doing monstrous things. The task force is ready to take Raider down, but he might suspect they have his DNA. So before they make a move, investigators want to prove Raider is BTK without tipping him off. We want him to be sure. The one way we could do that is to get his DNA. We knew that if we asked him directly, he would turn us down. Following him and trying to get a DNA sample that way would be very difficult. But DNA crosses generations. If Raider is a father, his offspring have his DNA. So we did a research on his family, found out that he had two children. One of those children was a 24-year-old daughter. And we were able to obtain, by court order, a biological sample that she had from her gynecologist. Familial DNA testing is often used in court cases on immigration status and paternity. Now it might help capture a monster. You get half your DNA from your mom and the other half from your dad. And because of that, we can then look at a sample that we think is a suspected offspring to another sample and do a comparison. A warrant clears the way for police to obtain the daughter's pap smear. And the sample goes to the Kansas Bureau of Investigation Forensic Lab. There were a significant shift in the priority of doing samples when we received that particular uh, pap smear slide. We stayed with it until we were done with it. The results are undeniable. The father of that pap smear was the individual who left that DNA at the crime scene. And that is Dennis Rader. On February 25th, 2005, Rader is driving home for lunch when police catch him. And interrogators ask him to provide a DNA sample. And he ended up matching. Even after 20 years of painful silence, no new witnesses, evidence, or crime scenes, police have the proof they need. DNA is absolutely definitive.